Hello, I'm Aled from Anida and in this little video I'm going to help you and your school with ideas for creating a new business, also known as entrepreneurship. Well, before I start, let me tell you a little bit about Anida. Anida travels the schools in Wales to help teach about things such as energy and climate change. And we do this in lots of different ways. We give pupils opportunities to pedal and create energy on our energy bikes. Pupils can build wind turbines. Pupils can build solar panels. We even offer pedal powered discos and we have a special pedal power electric car racing kit. So what is entrepreneurship? Well, entrepreneurship is the idea of setting up and running your own business. In doing so, you'll be making some money while taking a few risks. Now, to be a successful entrepreneur, they say you need four main skills. Attitude, creativity, relationships and organisation skills. They are known as acro. So, attitude. This means that you are confident and you can motivate yourself. Creativity means that you can inspire others and think of new ideas. Relationships means how you can work with other people and how you communicate. And O is organisations, how you set up and manage your business successfully. Right, I have a little activity for you. In this activity, what you need to do is work with somebody next door to you. And you need to think of names of businesses that start with each letter of both your names. So for example, my name is Aled, so I go first, Amazon. Then maybe my friend will say, Aldi. That will make me think, ooh, another shop for little, and so forth. Remember, they don't have to be large companies. They can be companies that you know in your own village or town, or maybe in your own family. Good luck, press pause and give it a go. Well done you. Now, before we go on, I just want you to think of one of those businesses that you mentioned in that quiz. And remember it, because we'll be going back to it at the end of the video. We all know how important it is to reduce our plastic. Therefore, in this little task, I'm going to ask you and your pairs or in your groups to bring up some ideas of what you could turn these plastic bottles into and sell for a profit. What about a plastic bottle pencil case or even a plastic bottle bird feeder? Press pause and take about five minutes to do the task. Next, we're going to talk about logos. Now, if you think of any company, I'm sure the first thing that comes to your mind is their logo. An effective logo is very important for businesses so that they can brand themselves successfully and make sure that customers remember them when they're out shopping. In this little quiz, I'm going to show you 12 logos of famous companies and in your pairs or in your groups, you're going to try and identify each one. Logo number one is from a very, very famous company that's to do with computers. Logo number two is a very, very famous brand of drink. Logo number three Think of sport. Logo number four, you need to think about how you listen to music. Logo number five is to do with energy. Logo number six, is a very famous car manufacturer. Logo number seven is a very important organization.
Logo number eight is to do with agriculture and farming. Logo number nine, think of how you take your photos and share them. Logo number 10 is a famous food brand. Logo number 11, think of where some people keep their money. And logo number 12, again, is a very innovative car brand. So here they all are. Press pause now and try and work them out as a pair or a group. Well, how do you think you've done? Let's go through the answers together. Logo number one is one of the world's biggest companies, and that is Google. Logo number two is Starbucks. Logo number three is the very popular sports brand Adidas. Logo number four is Spotify. Logo number five is the energy and fuel company BP. Logo number six is French car manufacturer Citroen. Logo number seven is that very, very important organisation, Fair Trade. Logo number eight is the tractor manufacturer John Deere. Logo number nine is the photo sharing app Instagram. Logo number 10 is Heinz. Logo number 11 is Barclays Bank. And finally, logo number 12 is the car manufacturer Tesla who does electric vehicles. Well done, I'm sure you had most of those correct. Now in the next part of the video, we are going to look at some of the challenges facing our planet and what you and I and other businesses can do to improve things. Our planet is under a great deal of pressure from the way that we decide to live our lives. We're using lots of the world's resources and at the same time creating a great deal of pollution. The way we travel needs to change. We mine for coal and gas to create electricity and we destroy our rainforests and the nature that lives there. The way we deal with our rubbish needs to change but all this is having such a negative effect on the planet that we call home. But we can make a difference. We can start by looking at the way we create electricity. Can we use nature to create electricity through wind and through sunlight? The way we travel needs to change. But together, I think we can create a better future. Now, in this little demonstration, we are going to show how it's possible to create electricity on our energy bike. Firstly, Lakey pedals quite gently to create 60 watts, the same as one bulb. But when the next switch is pressed, Lakey needs to produce 120 watts, or the equivalent of two bulbs. As Lakey continues to pedal, another switch is pressed, which means Lakey needs to generate 180 watts or three bulbs. Now things get very difficult when the fourth switch is pressed and Lakey needs to generate 240 watts or the same as four bulbs, 
Now that is quite a bit of electricity. Well done, Shaky. Now in our next little quiz, you are going to try and guess how many watts electrical appliances that we have in our home use. So here they are. We have a phone charger, a television, a hairdryer, and a kettle. What I'd like you to do now is guess which one uses the most electricity all the way down to which uses least. What I'd like you to do is put them in order and guess about how many watts each one uses. Press pause and take about five minutes to do the task. Here are the correct answers. The lowest on the list should be the phone charger. The phone charger uses only about six watts, which means Lakey could power 10 or 15 of these. Next on the list should be the television. The television uses about 200 watts, which means there needs to be about two or three cycling comfortably. Next on the list is the hairdryer. The hairdryer requires 2000 watts, which means you'd probably need about 10 to 20 cycling. And finally, we have the kettle, which needs 3000 watts or about 30 cyclists. Now for the final task. If you remember back in task number one, I asked you to remember one of the businesses that you mentioned in the task. Now in my example, I'll remember Lidl. Now I want you to imagine that you are the boss of that company. So I am the boss of Lidl and I've got 20 seconds to stand up in front of the class and tell everybody why they should start shopping in Lidl. What's important is that we mention my name, the company's name and what we do and then something special about that business that makes everybody want to shop there. Good luck, press pause and give it a go. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video and now it's your chance to go and start a business or businesses in your school. Remember, I'm here to support you if you would like me to come in and do further support or teach about energy or climate change, please get in touch. Good luck, 